great morning. Great morning. Great morning. And welcome back to another episode of Great Morning. I'm your host, Christian Murmur, Murms, Murm Dog, whatever the fuck you want to call me. And to the left of my computer screen, we have the boss, the pimp, the CEO, the chief, slightly special himself, Jimmy the Shooter. How you doing today, bro? I'm doing really good, man. What a great day today. It's a beautiful Monday. <laughs> There's a lot of sun outside, and it was actually it's um, dark by me. It's really weird because today was like sunny, but it was actually really cold, which is it just goes to show you like how messed up California is in the first place. But yeah, man, it's it's definitely been a doozy. It's definitely been a doozy. You got off, uh, you got off work early. You uh, you know, you you said you were ready for this podcast even when like I wasn't even home yet, and like I was like really upset because i wasn't even home we could have kicked this thing off even earlier you know yeah man but you know what it's okay because we still kicking it off we gonna make it happen we gonna have any me we're gonna make it happen yeah um i'm sorry i just want to say um to the listeners that stephanie is unavailable today uh, it's okay her her son is just he's feeling under the weather so she's you know she's doing the mama thing she's taking care of him um you know happy mother's day of course to uh, all the mothers out there this will be our first episode dropping since mother's day um, and, uh, you know, he's going to get well soon. Don't worry. It's nothing, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing life threatening. He's just under the weather. So, you know, she's just looking out for her baby boy right now, but she will not be joining us for this episode, but that's okay because we got, a we got someone else here. We got someone, yeah. uh, we got someone who's, you know, he's been on the podcast a bunch of times now, lost the count, lost the number. I'm sorry. Um, you know, he's already made it to that club over five episodes. So he's already, you know, he's out of the guest mode and he's in, you know, special guest co-host mode. Without further ado, our own comedian, our friend, Chuck. How are you doing today? Yo, what's good, everybody? Yo, you got a nice shirt on. Where Were you out before? What were you doing? Yeah, I hit the streets. <laughs> you know, from this day. Do I... Trying to pick up some moms every long day. <laughs> oh, I hear you. Oh, all right. Yeah. <laughs> How'd that go? You pick up you picked them up a lot? No, it didn't work. They all just <laughs> stared at me. You used to talk about um how you would do those videos of you just washing dishes and all the, the thirsty single moms out there would be like, Oh yeah, Lee, all right, look at you. The TikTok. Yeah. The TikTok. TikToks, yeah, they were TikToks. Yeah, I'm, I don't I don't know what happened now. They don't like it if you're pumping gas. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did today. I think about it as how you pump the gas, right? Hmm. You ever think of that? Yeah. Maybe. So I should do like some kind of like smolder or something. <laughs> you should do yeah. some poses. Maybe as I pump the gas, do some poses <laughs> and lift it with my biceps. And yeah, <laughs> just start <laughs> wear those tight shirts so like it look, you know, it's showing off the bicep and everything. You know, you can do that. Maybe that's what I need to do. Plug it into the car. Yeah. Yeah, man. I'm drinking a bottle of water and spill some on my chest. That's all right. Just pouring it on your head, like, oh, it's so yeah. hot. <laughs> it's so hot, yeah. It's so hot out here. That's funny. While I pump my gas. You know, um, <laughs> you know, guys, uh, you know, we don't like to talk about political issues here, but um let's get into it. Come on. But we're not gonna talk about political issues, but we're gonna talk about since this is like, you know, the three amigos here. We got the three homies here. Let's talk about um some some men's issues probably instead of getting into the political side of it let's talk about the yeah the the male issue for it um have you heard about uh Roe v Wade getting overturned in by the Supreme Court wait what was it Roe v Wade who's that <laughs> oh they're just some homies well that was the in the seventies that was the the federal uh law oh Roe v like Roe versus Wade yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roe versus Wade. So yeah, when you said I, Roe v. I'm thinking like you're talking about a rapper. Oh no, they well, well, yeah, I can see that, but I mean, they they usually say it like Roe v. Wade, or you know, when there's those su big Supreme Court cases, they just put a V instead of the verses. I guess they do it because otherwise it would sound more like a Mortal Kombat fight or something. Well, is this one of those things? Well, like you said, you don't want to get too political, but this is uh, not that talking about politics is hard hardcore. But what you're telling me right now is you want to talk about abortion. 
I want to talk about yeah, yeah I don't I don't want to talk about necessarily abortion in general but I want to talk about um the men's side to it possibly oh, like goodness. okay like, let's I just know, I'm getting I just want to say I got my this is like I got all my abortions through before they, <laughs> they already stopped it, so we did it over like, here. Like, I am <laughs> so fucked, dude. You know how many fucking calls I got that day? I'm so fucked. These girls are calling me. I'm like, what's listen. Up? Well, what's right? up with it? Let's give a little bit of a background uh, on the Roe v. Wade. Do you want me to do it? or you Yeah, got it? sure. If you got the computer up, you're usually the yeah, computer Yeah, man, of course, guy. man. So the Roe v. Wade is a legal case in uh, which the United States Supreme Court from January 22nd of 1973 uh, ruled out seven to two that unduly restrictive state regulations of abortion is unconstitutional. So in a majority opinion written by Justice Harry A. Blackman, the court held that a set of Texas institutes criminalizing abortion in most instances violated a woman's constitutional right of privacy, which it found to be implicit in the liberty guarantee of the due process clause of the 14th Amendment. So like if we were just going to kind of summarize that up, right, the synopsis, if you will. Okay. Um, it was unconstitutional to tell a woman that she couldn't get an abortion. It is. It was ruled originally that it was unconstitutional, but now they're seeing that, I guess they're saying it is. I mean, but I mean, either way, they're overturning it now. And so people are like freaking out that like, you know, obviously this is just, you know, an attack on, you know, freedom of what one can do with their body. So people are upset about that. And, but then other people argue that, like, nothing's really going to change because the states already had their own laws in place. So, like, even when, like, say, two years ago, like, you can't really get an abortion in Texas. It's, like, really hard because those are the, they have the state laws set up. So, like, it's more like just depending on where you live, where it'll affect you, which is kind of like how it was before. But more on, like, I, again, I want to stay away from the political side of it and, like, where you stand. You know, I, we don't need to talk about that. But I want to know. Like you've I've been seeing, unfortunately, with every like tragedy or anything, there's already memes being made. And I see a lot of posts about like men being like, fuck, like, I don't want to fucking pay child support and all this. Like, like, fuck that. Like, I got all these girls calling me and shit. I'm so fucked. You know, so what I, you're saying is a guy, a guy can say to the to the woman, it's unconstitutional if you have my baby. <laughs> I don't Basically. know if he can say. I don't. Th there's no ruling that says yeah. that. But is that is that kind of like where it's going? Is it is it kind of one of those things? Was like, listen, lady, I know I got, <laughs> you pregnant, but we're not going through it. And if you have this baby, you're going against my rights. Yeah, and you know what? That's funny that you bring that up. That's been an argument for a while with a lot of guys. Is like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Is this a is this a thing now? Yeah, I think it's been a thing for a while. No. Yeah, a guy cannot tell a woman she has to have an abortion no of, no i yeah no i know but what i'm saying is that argument though has been around for a while oh my gosh really yeah yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I mean, no so here's my thing right <laughs> here's my thing okay look at chuck he's already rubbing his eye we're not even 10 minutes into this he's like oh fuck. Listen, all right so here, they're no, really no, starting no, with no, this I'm one not, huh? no 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 because this <laughs> no, is i'll talk about anything this is a serious <laughs> hobby bro i cannot be the type of gent if you will to know that first of all you're making a mess if if you're getting somebody pregnant right and it's like entrapment maybe she entraps you which is damn near impossible on a male end unless like she gives you some shit and then makes your dick hard and then makes you but you still gotta you still gotta like there's other ways of entrapment like they, they can maybe just seduce you into entrapment maybe and then like, <laughs> like a siren i didn't know that it, i was like super hot this week and she's giving it up every day that week trying to like kind of get pregnant but even then you can't tell a woman, like, if you don't get rid of this baby, you're taking away my rights to be a single man in the world. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can't force. Yes, you cannot force a woman to get an abortion. Of course not. You can't do that. Um, But the Maybe. argument, I, there's a lot of people now arguing that, like, if Roe v. Wade should stay in, then if men don't want to be part of the baby's life, they shouldn't have to pay child support, which will, you know, that'll never happen. But I mean... It's an interesting Chuck, why'd argument your face... to think about. Look at because... Chuck's, Chuck's, Chuck's face just lit up. He said, <laughs> hey, child support. Chuck said, <laughs> run the cake. You, you have no, bro, you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that system is not set up for us. 
No, it's not. Go ahead, man. Be political on that one. But I just I'm saying. I clean that up. No, it's it's not. And it might because you you talking to somebody who got a V. I got a club card that played a parachute in hell. <laughs> <laughs> you got a club card. <laughs> Planned Parenthood. Man, man, my teenage years and early 20s, man, I'll be like, look, I'm too broke for this. That's, that's the key word. You tell them you broke. They were like, Rip. can't get a check out this one. Yeah, yeah, like, like, baby, I, 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 can, I can barely afford for us to go to McDonald's. You want me to fucking send you child support? I don't, what the fuck are you thinking about? Like, support come the on. child with chicken nuggets. You're getting chicken nuggets every Wait, night. Get a 10 every piece. <laughs> get a 10 piece. We'll make that last for the week. Break that 10 piece uh, down for the week. That's interesting, though. That's interesting. So what do you mean they're looking into the Roe v. Wade? Like, what are they looking into? No, I mean, they've overturned it. It sounded like they're going to overturn it. So does that mean that abortion is going to be illegal? Pretty much. But again, like I said, the states have their own policies, their own laws. So like, say you live in New York, it shouldn't affect you. Like, you would probably still be able to have the option to get an abortion in New York. I'm I'm saying that right now that could change. I'm going to say that also, you know, before anyone listens to this and then that isn't the case, but it's it's mainly the states and I think um I think most people are just uh, the people who are upset by it they're upset because of just the image it looks like it's it because they're saying like oh we're going back like 50 years like what's next like they'll get rid of gay marriage or like and then people you know they're people some people are extreme like oh what's next like they're going to make black people drink from a separate water fountain again it's like all right well you know well i don't know man i can can say that if you if you look at history like 50 years ago some of the dumbest laws and the most corrupt laws were made you know what i mean okay you what i saw that uh they that one of the fines in one of them states i think it's alabama or something is the fine is fifty thousand dollars if you do get an abortion yeah i said that is and yeah they banned plan b like the no plan b you can't take a plan b well i think that was texas it sucks because here it says that the law made no exceptions for rape or incest so if some if a man were to like put himself onto a woman and impregnate her even then she couldn't get an abortion yeah that's another i don't know if that's a good thing i see what they did there with that incest because if you have an incest, you have incest, baby. Your baby is gonna be, you know, slow, and your baby's gonna need medicine. But now they're making money out of the medicine because you have an incest baby because your baby is mentally challenged. Ooh, it's all the conspiracy. Big mom. <laughs> it's jacked up. <laughs> I think um, going into another conspiracy. This is a big one. People talk about a lot. Um, God, we're getting too political, so I've got to be careful here. Um, but like, for instance, we talked about Texas, like Texas last year or two years ago, they passed that crazy abortion law where like you can literally like sue someone if you knew they were getting an abortion in Texas and like you can make money and then they can like get fined and go to jail and shit. That's and it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy in Texas. But then the conspiracy yeah, is people like they're setting those laws in the South because they want, you know, more liberal voting people like Democrats to stop moving to those southern places because there was a big influx uh like right before and then during the pandemic of like people leaving california leaving new york new jersey um you know like very populated uh liberal areas and moving to like texas and the south because the houses were cheaper and stuff and but they go there and then they vote democrat because they've been democrats most of their life so that's what the conspiracy is. It's like, all right, let's create these like crazy abortion laws or something that'll just keep the Democrats out of here. That way they can't take over our state. That's the conspiracy for that. Now, is that true? I don't know. What are you thinking, Chuck? That makes sense. Right? Yeah, that does right? make sense. Like, I tell you what, if I can't buy no plan B and, it's, and the fine is $50,000, you're going to catch me on the Canadian website getting shit to my house. <laughs> Yeah, or, yeah, like, people will be taking trips because I think you can take – I think, it like, though, I, I haven't read up entirely on the law in Texas, but, like, I think even if you went to a state where, like, you can get an abortion, right? So say you live in Texas, you wanted to get an abortion with your girlfriend or whatever, and you drive up to New York to get the abortion. I think if anyone found out still, since you're a citizen of Texas, you can still, like, get sued. You can still, like, lose that money. So, I mean – 
I, I mean, I don't know if that's true, but like the conspiracy is kind of interesting to think about, like the way they just want to keep Democrats and liberal voting people out of those southern states. Because like if Democrats say Democrats took Texas, like there was more majority of Democrats, even if it was just one percent, that whole state just goes over, especially if there's a presidential election. Democrats, yeah, state. Texas, is the man. Texas, ain't Texas no more after that. Texas, man. Yeah, and like the like the Republicans would never be able to win without Texas. Like they need Texas. So well, I, I'm not. We're getting I'm too not, political. But I do want to know this. I, I have a very interesting question for you, gentlemen. Sure. Under what condition, being a male, right? Yeah. Let's yeah. let's, let's kind of educate the people here. Under what condition would you accept an abortion from a female? Or a woman, I should say, for a non-military. What condition would I accept an abortion? Yeah. All of them. This is a political question. Yeah. You could throw a reason against the wall and it'll stick. I don't give a damn. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. I mean, me right now, honestly, because like, I don't want to fucking maybe. Yeah. Like, let's fucking get it, man. Like any any reason at all, due diligence, like, nah, get rid of the, all right. We're going to talk before 15 weeks just to keep it as a gentle topic. Yeah, well, how about I want to poop in peace topic? That's a that's a reason that'll stick. You know what? Good for you, girl. Go ahead, let's get it. Here's this three hundred dollars. <laughs> you know, that's a reason. If that's what that's what that hey, any reason, I don't care. Have a yeah. good time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. so yeah. it's it's an interesting. It's just an interesting subject for debate i know you know one of the last podcasts we talked about amber heard and johnny depp so we don't have to talk about that we talked about elon musk and that's what's going on the news right now which is the big one so i figured we'd mention it here at great morning you know talking about the men's side for it i mean again i don't want to get too political um well what's good is this is this is a very biased episode because there's only men yeah stephanie's not here which you know what's that that sucks because I think people would say like, oh, of course, men are talking about what to do with a woman's body. We're not. We're just bringing up the subject. I want to say that again. Um, I'm for sure if record, Stephanie was here, she would give her three opinion. Of us, for the record, all three of us agreed that a woman can go ahead and have at it on that abortion side. Yeah, so, of course. And, and so, ladies, we Partially. are on your side. We are on your side. Partially. Any, any, throw any reason against the wall, it will stick. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, it's oh, no, Jimmy, come on. Let's uh, let's uh, shy away for this one. Example, for example, for example. Oh boy, I'm not one to tell a woman what to do with the body, okay. right? Yeah. But at the same time, don't you think it's a little just like as a man, if if we're having unprotected sex because it takes two to create life, it right? Takes two to tango. It takes two to tango, but it takes two to create a life, right? As yeah. a man, and I'm like, if I can't say. I'm not ready. Don't have the baby. How come she can say, I'm not ready. I'm not going to have the baby. And then tell you what she's going to do with your child. When she also made a conscious decision to have unprotected sex and catch that, catch that shot straight to the uterus. Wait, right so to- I'm, I'm confused. Are you in the position like uh, you want the baby, but she, she doesn't? Gotta- yeah. Let's say you want the baby as a man, but she doesn't. Oh, you might have to just but, take the but L, she's dude. like, It's my body. You might have to hit her with that. She got to carry it for she had to she had to carry it for nine months. Be sick, change her body. Her hips got to spread. Titties sag, stretch marks. <laughs> nose get big, feet get fat. I think she can tell you what to do. But if I'm like, you chose this. You open them legs up for me, girl. Oh, I eat smelly balls. That's it. Whispered <laughs> in, in my ear. Come in. You lost. You you forfeit. Well, maybe That's she thought it would work. Time. My first one happened like that. Oh, Jesus. That's how the first one happened. She, she whispered in my ear. She said, she, she said, don't pull out. I said, all right, I trust you. And she, <laughs> she was like, I'm great. I said, hey, here's some money. Oh, here's some money. Oh, here's, some, well, here's some money. Anyway, I, I think this is a popular subject, so I just wanted to mention it here at Great Morning. And, you know, of course, you know, I like like anyone with this subject, you wanted to hear what three uh three men in their 20s and 30s wanted to say about it. So, uh, of course, there you go. You got to hear a great morning. Another thing I want to talk about, and this is directly towards Jimmy, unless, Chuck, you also saw it. Um, Jimmy, did you see Dr. Strange? I did see Dr. Strange. What did you think? And matter of fact, I didn't just I didn't just see Doctor Strange. Okay, so I go to see Doctor Strange, right? Trying to have a nice night, 
this weekend. Really, really, uh, you know, close. I would say one of my, I would say, you know, my best friend. My best friend's like, hey, let's go see Doctor Strange. Mm-hmm. Wants to do something special. You know what I mean? Make it a good night. We see that shit in 4D. Okay. You know what 4D is? Yeah. So, what is, all right, what's 4D? Explain it's, it. It's it's one number above 3D. Correct. And it's also one roller coaster ride away of a movie theater, bro. Let mm-hmm. me tell you about these seats, man. When I sat down in the seat, it wasn't even just sitting still. That shit was moving like a Disney show. I was getting whiplash during the fight scenes. Like, I fell asleep in the movie, first of all. But second of all, the <laughs> only thing that woke me up from falling asleep is when this motherfucker starts moving his hands and casting spells and throwing up gang size and shit. And I'm just catching whiplash. Which I heard is a lot of the movie. It's a lot of the movie, but I honestly, not to spoil it, because I don't want to spoil it, but I think that Marvel really missed a mark on Doctor Strange. Yeah, I. so I'm hearing a lot of mixed things now. I heard it's a jumbled mess, and a lot of people didn't like what they did with certain characters. Um, Terrible. And some of the characters' choices don't make sense and stuff like that. Ah, so bad. It was it was so bad, man. <laughs> so bad. It was like because the trailer makes it look like it's gonna yeah, be that's like how they always get you. We watched the trailer, right? We watched the trailer and we said, nah, we gotta see this motherfucking movie right here, right? Yeah, that's how they don't, get you. Don't waste your money. Wait for that shit to drop. It's gonna be a Netflix flop. I don't you know, think it's, it's gonna go to Disney Plus. Disney Plus flop, bro. That shit, that movie was so fucking bad. First of all. I'm gonna just say this, and I'm gonna ruin it for a little for a lot of the people out there. You know what I mean? Spoiler a little bit. Here's a little spoiler. All right. Guess what, people? They had this. Uh, I think his name was Benedict Wong. So Benedict Wong, he played the master sorcerer, or he was like the like the sorcerer supreme. Source, yeah, the sorcerer Benedict Wong was the sorcerer supreme of everything, right? In the yeah. dimension he was in. Every time this motherfucker had a shot. To save the day, he failed. Every single time. Every time he was like put in a position to like make a major change, he failed. And he <laughs> dropped the ball. And then his ass got kicked the fuck off a cliff and he passed out with his magic still working. Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin it. I don't want to get too passionate. I was just like, how is he going to be the Sorcerer Supreme? Well, they they explained that actually if you saw Spider-Man No Way From Home because they're in that too. And he explains that he got the position on a technicality because of the blip, the which... If you don't know, if there's no Marvel fans out there, the blip is what was called for the the three year period that everyone went missing after Thanos snapped his fingers and half the universe died. Um, and Doctor Strange disappeared during that time, so he could no longer be the Sorcerer Supreme. So since he was gone, it just went to Wong. So he automatically took that you know position and as a technicality. But then Doctor Strange comes back because of what happened at the end of Endgame. You know, they brought everyone back, but, you know, Wong was already in that position for three years. So that's why he is the Sorcerer Supreme. But yes, everyone understands yeah, man, that. But as soon as Doctor Strange came back, like Wong should have bowed down to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, Wong, you're trash. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. But I mean, Wong is trash. Is it Wang or Wong? It's Wong. OK. You know what that movie was like? It was like a bad trip. Yeah. I wonder what seeing that movie on acid would have been like. Dude, that's <laughs> I was kind of thinking. <laughs> I'm like, I just really want to see this now. I'm glad the only drug I can have is alcohol at this point because if I was tripping during this movie, that's a bad trip. <laughs> saw it too, right? Did you see it? I did not yet, and I don't really know if I'm actually going to. Oh, um, man, I'm, st- I'm starting to get sick of the Marvel movies, man. There's, they're starting to piss me off. They start, they, oh, they're following the form, same formula. This is all right. So this is where Marvel's going. Not to get political here. They're going extreme liberal. So the what? They're going extreme liberal, bro. Every single male character in Doctor Strange, right, was a was a straight up bitch. Yeah, they, they that's something they've kind of been doing for a little bit now. Um, and you know, there's there's a bunch of podcasts and like YouTube videos I hear. That's one of the biggest complaints is they they're just doing that. Like they're they they're doing it, bro. It's it's they're masculating a lot of men. To make way for, you know, strong female characters, which there's nothing wrong with a strong female character at all. But when they already when they make like established, like, you know, strong male superheroes or anyone kind of wimpy in the way for, you know, this new character, it's it's kind of shitty. It's like, you know, that's one of the things I didn't like about the new Thor movies is like Thor was like pushed around like he was some wimp. Thor was like, dude, it's Thor. He's like one of the strongest fucking Avengers. The God of Thunder, bro. The God of Thunder. 
and he's he's like a sensitive little demasculated wimp. Yeah, they start making I'm him some to kind that. of bitch or something because I don't notice none of this. <laughs> you probably just go for the good time. People are starting to analyze these movies more. I'm really <laughs> some sort of bitch. So let me let me break it down to you like this, right? In another dimension, right? In Doctor Strange, sorry, spoiler alert. In another dimension, they come across um, basically they're Avengers. Okay. Yeah. So there's another dimension's Avengers. I'm gonna leave all like the the goose eggs out and shit like that. But there's two females and then there's two males. Okay. Off top, this bitch like slaughters two dudes. Off top, and it's up to the women that just so happen to be the ones that like kind of get a hit in and like almost fucking save the day but what made me even more upset is the fact that and it's it's not that there's like this is a race thing or anything i just feel like disney and marvel and everybody's really reaching really far out to like please the crowd or please minorities like oh we're sorry for whatever here's your reparations like but it was a it was a black female superhero right she wasn't the strongest one but she was the last one alive and she had the weakest blow right but was still murdered, but wasn't necessarily the strongest one. The strongest one looked better, who was a white female, but the black female was the last one to live before she died. So it was kind of like, we're going to give the the white female like the the title of like Captain England or whatever the fuck her name was. And oh, she's going to be the strongest one and she's going to get the hit and she's going to be super badass, but we're going to let the black one be extremely powerful too and we'll keep her alive till the end and then then she'll die but off top the two male entities just died they didn't get a hit in they look like straight up pussies or bitches sorry for cursing yeah. it, and it looked very bad that's that's another weird thing is just talking about scarlet witch's uh powers they're they're never quite defined and like every movie she becomes just like she's able to start doing more and more crazy shit that she wasn't even able to do at one point. And I guess you could say like she discovered these powers, but the whole motivation for, I heard it was anyway, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't mean to, we're getting too deep into this, but it's, it, it was supposed to be a mess. I heard it's a mess and it kind of, it doesn't do good for Dr. Strange. And, and I heard it's unfortunate because the studio interfered a lot with the director. Like they always fucking do now. Because people were saying, like, there were some touches that looked Sam Raimi-ish. Because Sam Raimi was known for, like, back in the day, he made the Evil Dead movies and shit. And the original Spider-Man trilogy, which was even violent. If you ever watch the original two Spider-Man movies, they're really violent. And the Evil Dead ones, you know, they're gory messes. And you could see that he wanted to put, like, some of that violence in the movie. But then they had to, like, you know, numb it down to keep that PG-13 rating and stuff. And they couldn't make it too over the top I, I it's just it's supposed to be a mess there's there's supposed to be a bunch of things wrong with it i heard it looks great like you like you said you go into it you have a fun time in the movie theater you're like whoa but i yeah. heard it's a mess yeah it is it is a mess yeah so you know that's what the we first doctor say. strange was was hard for me to follow anyway <laughs> maybe because my iq was low but uh <laughs> i don't I, like I when I you talk to... like this <laughs> I might have to stay away from this the Doctor Strange movie. I mean, check it out. I'm not telling you not to see it. All I'm saying is whenever you see it, like I am. Eyes. Like my favorite character was a green bull. A green bull. Mm-hmm. There's a green bull in that movie. Yeah. Bull like the male cow. Yeah. Like a cereal. He was gonna say cereal bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My favorite character, my favorite character was a green bull. And I want to revisit this conversation in a future podcast because you're going to see what this green bull did. And then you're going to come back and be like, all right, Jimmy, you got some explaining to do. <laughs> yeah, there's um, we can have some uh, future Marvel talk. Um, you know, I have a I, I, I have another question um, that I've been uh, asked before now, and I want to see if other people can answer it. And please don't look it up. Don't cheat. I want to ask you both. And who I guess whoever answers it first, I'll get I'll let you get one one shot at it. This is a very it's a very uh big question, especially for the uh hip hop slash rap community. Yep. In NWA's song, The Dope Man. Mm-hmm. Have you heard this song? The dope man, dope man. I'm the dope man, dope man. Chuck Jim. That's about as that's about as far as I can I'm get with dope that song. Man, dope man. <laughs> I'm the dope man, dope man. Of yeah. the five members of NWA, mm-hmm. who was the dope man? Oh, the dope man was Easy E. Yeah, Easy E. Oh, okay, all right, cool. Yeah, all right, you got it right. You got it right. All yeah, right. he was the one that was like 
Yeah, I'm, I'm the dope so man. Yeah, really? boy, I got a corduroy. <laughs> man dope man hey man give me your hit whatever the fuck right yeah so easy e was the one who kind of created nwa <laughs> here's, a, here's an here's another question is dope man dope man we just can't quit <laughs> is Sorry. he overrated you think he, you think he's a little he, overrated easy yeah he can't rap he he didn't write them in his tribes easy e was ice cube a... yeah ice cube wrote all of the song that's why they murdered easy e they were like hey man Hey man, somebody's got to be sacrificed to the Illuminati. Easy E, yeah, he he introduced all of us. But, I was uh, listening to some of his songs like recently again, and I was like, was he even that good of a rapper? Like I, like, I mean, no. for his time frame though, you can't you can't compare time frames. With, I know, I know, I know. You're right. right because like honestly, if you took a rapper from the '90s or the, even even like late '80s, right? You take a other than Tupac, who's like you know a lyrical genius. But if you take, I honestly believe this, nobody can tell me shit different. But if you take Tupac against Eminem, Eminem will beat Tupac. And I say that shit on record. Really? Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, maybe maybe that's also because like Eminem had more time to release more music, you know? No, because Eminem, so Tupac was the first person to really come out and like, they're, they're both translators, right? But Tupac came out, man, that motherfucker came out hard as fuck. He's like, fuck the police. Like he's sick for his shit. He rapped about real shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But something Eminem. Eminem rapped about adversity. But at the same time, Eminem could spit out like a whole 16 bar track in eight bars somehow. Like this motherfucker could put so many words into one thing and still tell a story and still be like hard as fuck. Raunchy as fuck. Hi, kids. Yeah. Do you and like violence? Tupac couldn't, couldn't, you know, couldn't freestyle. He couldn't, yeah, Tupac and couldn't, Tupac freestyle. couldn't just like, yeah, he could just come up the top. Like Tupac was a, he was a songwriter, you know what I mean? Like Tupac was a rapper, songwriter, artist. Eminem, that motherfucker would, would just get up on live radio shows and just like go ham with his lyrics because he's like a lyrical mastermind. He but he still is a lyrical he, mastermind. Yeah, and, and, and Jay-Z comes up with songs off the top of his head. So he comes up with the hook and everything. So, I mean, like... I would even say, I would say if it wasn't for... So my favorite artist of all time is Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne was good, man. Or I mean, he's still good, but like, yeah, Lil Wayne was the shit. Yo, man. Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne could come up with like, like he, he. I don't know if a lot of people know this, but he's got a degree in psychology. Like Lil Wayne's not dumb, and he would come up with so <laughs> I didn't many. Didn't know that. Words. Yeah, yeah, he's got his de- Stephanie's Bro, facts. Stephanie's facts. Lil Wayne's got a degree in psychology. Like he's not dumb, and he's he doesn't even write every song he's ever made is never written. In fact, before he goes on to a live performance, they got to print off his lyrics so he can just review them quickly. And then he sells the whole song and then he like performs. That's a genius. That's a genius. Little Wayne has never put pen to paper. Every single song. This motherfucker. So just like, so just like Jay-Z did. Except, you know, Jay-Z tells a better story than Lil Wayne. Jay-Z tells a better story than Lil Wayne, but Lil Wayne will make you think more than Jay-Z. Think about what? (laughs) <laughs> a girl named Keisha he really liked the freak up what, what kind of that's some simple ass shit right there bro Lil Wayne hold on let me look up some famous Lil Wayne quotes this, this is a Jay Z lyric he said he asked a question that made me think about it he said wouldn't you loot if you didn't have the loot and your What'd baby's on the roof and your baby needed food he said wouldn't you loot if you didn't have the loot and you stuck on the roof and your baby needed food, and a helicopter came down just to get a scoop with his telescopic lens, but he didn't scoop you. Well, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne said, Lil Wayne said, "Big house, long hallways, got ten bathrooms. I can shit all day." <laughs> <laughs> That's great. What is everything? What is everything about? What Lil Wayne that? said, Lil Wayne said, "Didn't wear a bulletproof, so I got shot, and you can see the proof. Blind eyes could look at me and see the truth." Wonder if Stevie do. No. Wait, 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 wait. I got, I got a great lyric for you. Um, do you remember? I forget what song it was, but T Pain once rhymed "mansion" with Wisconsin. In <laughs> <laughs> a mansion, I'm a, <laughs> a man of Wisconsin. I'm a name, I'm a thing, I'm a name. <laughs> All right, we're not including T Pain. T Pain is just a T Pain is low key a video game mogul right now. T-Pain's a, T-Pain's a really good uh, entertainer, man. I heard he is. If you go to his concert, you're going to have a good time. His Twitch. Yeah, he is an entertainer. Like, that's what he does. 
He's, he might not be great at anything, but this dude will get lit as fuck, like super drunk, go on Twitch, play a race car game, and have 35,000 people watch him. Wait. Yeah. I want I want to I want to do something with you guys um, that includes both of you um, since we're just having fun here on this episode. Um, one of them is again I uh, I made reference um, and people liked it actually. I got uh, I got some DMs um, and also people asking for uh, you know that promo code and stuff. But people liked I forget what episode we did a couple weeks ago. Chuck, I think you were on it. Whatever it was. But we made reference to, again, um, you know, shout out to Comedy Bang Bang, the podcast. They used to do this, but they used to do Would You Rathers, and they enjoyed everyone and how you guys played on it. And I was wondering if you'd like me to do a few more, because I got some fucking great ones right here. Yeah. Yeah, I would love that. And, uh, yeah, have a good time. Yeah, so let's let's do that. Again, this is in honor, of course, Comedy Bang Bang. I don't Can I just say to... Little Wayne's, my favorite quote from Little Wayne. Ever. Sure. Real... Of course, please. Before we get into this, just so I can trump. Chuck here and and Trump and Chuck can you can say <laughs> look at, you look at Chuck he's like he's like were we even arguing Chuck you could say definitively that Lil Wayne is the greatest rapper of all time on on this podcast right now on air okay safe sex is great sex better wear a latex because you don't want that late text that I think I'm late text <laughs> oh boy <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. That sounds like something Uncle Rob and at, at a barbecue and he was drunk that told you. <laughs> boy, boy, you don't want that late text. You better wear the late text. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like yes, that. Boy, you better wear the late text now. You better wear the late text. Late text. <laughs> Safe sex is great sex, boy. And I said it backwards, the little Wayne thing. All oh, right, let's boy. do it with I'm excited. All right. Yeah. Again, and this is in honor of Comedy Bang Bang, the podcast, one of, uh, of course, my favorite podcasts. Um, they're hilarious. They don't do this anymore. These, I guess, got old. Um, so I'm going to read a few of them to you again. I, but I want to establish the rules since uh, I'll be reading them. I'll be like, in a way, hosting them. So these are the rules for the would you rather. I'm going to read it. And then I'm going to say I'm opening the floor to questions. And that's all you guys can do is ask questions. Do not pick right away. If you hear one that you like, do not pick right away. And after you guys are done asking questions and stuff, I'll close the floor to questioning and then you can pick and that'll be your answer. So this is the first would you rather. Chuck, you ready? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what it is. He's flicking. This is a nicotine. Nicotine? I'm the dope man. Dope nicotine. Since when did you start doing nicotine? I like 2018. Oh. I put that shit right now. Oh. Um, all right, you guys ready for the question? (laughs) He put it in his mouth. I mean, I did think about it. I did think about it. I was like, should I, should I, uh, should I, that's good friend advice. I was like, man, that's a great friend. Are you guys, are you guys ready? <laughs> We're ready. Okay. We're ready. So again, I'm going to, after I say it, I'm going to open the floor to questioning. <laughs> I saw you think about it. That's why it's so You funny. can't get over this. <laughs> this is the first question. Would you rather be a piano virtuoso, but only during a full moon or five times in your life, be able to summon Al Pacino to help you with stuff? I'm Ooh. opening the floor to questions. Do not answer. Yeah, you said a piano what? Virtuoso. So like you're just amazing at playing piano. Oh, you're like, in a full moon. Is it? But only during the full moon. Oh, cool. So how many full moons are there in a year? I'm like, there, isn't there right. usually one per month? So like twelve. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, because they wrote every full. Moon. Yeah, because hey, of course. fun fact though, a full moon is every twenty-eight days. Mm. Yeah. You know, so, what else is every twenty eight days. He growled. Ovulation. Ovulation. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? So if you, so if you catch, if you play the piano really good and you catch someone on a really good day, ovulation. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking. Thing. All right. So are you asking us one at a time? Is this like a Chuck question, or is this just an open floor? This is open floor for both of you. I want you both to answer. Not yet. The floor is still open for questioning. If you I have can have Al Pacino. 
the actor or like the godfather al pacino the actor help me with five things yeah you can only do it five times so one thing each time or be a fucking piano what what was it virtuoso okay i got that let me get my pen out because i feel like i'm gonna have to. chuck do you have any questions well i'm doing the venn diagram in my head on what Al Pacino could actually even help me with in the first place. And I remember seeing him pay for a prostitute, so I guess he could help me with that one. (laughs) I'm sure he could. Yeah. I I only know this because he paid for one on any given Sunday in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal around here. Yeah. All right, I got it. So what's next? Next question or what? No, so I'm closing the floor to questions, so there's no more questions. No more questions. I already know. So please answer. Let's do it on three because I have a feeling we're going to have the same answer. All right, fine. Chuck, you got your answer? Yes. Okay. Right. One, two, three. Piano version. Piano. Yeah, that word. Really? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I think I would have chosen Al Pacino. <laughs> Al Pacino's just a fu- He's an actor, man. Yeah, he's but maybe you could have summoned him and been like, like, hey, man, can I borrow $2 million? Yeah, I need a lawyer. Uh, Does he have two million dollars? Hey, Al Pacino, I need a yes. I need a lawyer. Can you pretend to be my lawyer? And and I bet you Al Pacino could play a, a one mean lawyer. Doesn't he play a lawyer in that one movie? Doesn't he yeah. play a lawyer in like The Devil's Advocate or something? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I could be like, what do you want me to like? All right, I need you to step into my I, or set up a woman. Al Pacino, I need you to do me a favor. Okay, I'll be a millionaire too. I'm putting out an album every full moon. <laughs> I'm yeah. dropping straight beats. I'm getting me and Kanye linking up every 28 days. And right. you only perform on a full moon day, which makes you even more mysterious. People are gonna be like, "Have you noticed this this piano virtuoso guy is like only playing on full moons?" Like, yeah, he's so mysterious. Yeah, and after the show, I'm catching somebody on the ovulation. I'm dropping panties. Damn. And then he's going back to the Wade V whatever. He's going back to the Wade V row. <laughs> Wade V row. That's fucked. All right. All right. I got Ordering Plan B's guys. off the Canadian medical website. I mean, technically, <laughs> if you tell a chick to go get a Plan B, you're agreeing to uh, not abortion, but abortion. Well, sounds like you better have safe sex and get that late text. That late text so you don't get that late text. <laughs> Look at this episode all tied in. What's the next yeah. one? All right. You ready? for the next one. This one's a little funny. This one's funny, actually. You like that? You like that music? Okay, let me stop that. Yeah, <laughs> that deep music. Those All right. Answer, by the way. Again, I will open the floor to questioning first. Do not pick right away. Would you rather sneeze cheeseburgers constantly or live in a world where pop culture references cause unwanted pregnancies? <laughs> I'm opening the floor to questions. Can you um wait a minute? Or you mean what do you mean by pop culture references? Even these bars we've been spitting? So pretty much like if you make a reference to like if you're out in public and there's people around and you make a reference to like the new Doctor Strange movie, someone's getting pregnant. Okay. And then what was the other option? Every... <laughs> and the other option is uh would you rather sneeze cheeseburgers constantly? Do not choose. I'm opening the floor to questions for you guys. If, these... if we're do, if we're causing random pregnancies, are these our babies? Yes. Yeah. Could could I like sneeze or could I could I like make a reference and then whoever that female is with or dating at the time he gets her pregnant? Well, so it. it I also it, say he because it's a Y and X chromosome. It Come involves in. everyone. So like it, you live in a world where pop culture references in general will get someone pregnant. So someone else can say it, and like so say you're. So Chuck, say you're around and you got a girlfriend, right? Say, and I come to hang out and I accidentally make a reference to like the Godfather, your girlfriend might get pregnant. <laughs> by 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 you or by, by me. Like it would be my baby. Hmm. Or I'm sneezing cheeseburgers. <laughs> or you're sneezing cheeseburgers. Are these like do they have tomatoes? Lettuce, onion? Yes. Are they crystal or white castle burgers? Yeah. No, they're they're like they're like you're you're at the family barbecue, like like big burgers, you know. They're like nice size, and they're coming out of my nose. They're coming out of your nose, yeah. How big is my nose? The same size right now. So this the same cavity that it connects directly to my brain. I'm gonna have ninety five to one hundred percent pure beef and cheese shooting out of my nostril cavity. Yes, of course, yes. Where's it? Where's it coming? You from? You only 
You only got one cheeseburger to sneeze out, or because you're holding. No, no, it says it says it says plural. It's it's but plural it's cheeseburgers. But I feel like there's a business opportunity in that. I feel like if you could just <laughs> sneeze cheeseburgers twenty four seven, you could open up a restaurant. There he is. There's the Jimmy we know. Yeah, you could open up a restaurant with that, and then you could just consistently produce money. So every cheeseburger, which can only be made by you, nobody else can recreate this fucking cheeseburger. Okay, it's from your mind your nose you know what i'm saying like are you gonna be in pain forever sure Would you can rich? call the restaurant snot rockers mm. look at that llc this shit man <laughs> so do i want to be what you're really asking me is do i want to be a cheeseburger god or do i want to get a bunch of motherfuckers pregnant by referencing pop culture yes do not choose yet still open to questioning can we get dramatic music yeah. Does it hurt when you sneeze these cheeseburgers? Yes, it's a, I'm, I'm glad you asked annoying. that, Chuck. I'm glad you asked that. It's both annoying and extremely painful. Let's, let's think about this. Oh, man. World. I'm going to sneeze out. Canadian beef cheeseburgers. Australian beef cheeseburgers. Or I'm going to get some money impregnated every time I make a pop cold. All right, I got my answer. Yeah, me too. All right. So, do you want to count down, Jimmy, and then you guys say your answers at the same time? Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Sneeze, cheese. I made somebody for every single pop culture song I say. Oh, okay. So Chuck went cheeseburgers. You went the pregnancy. Why? Let me ask why. All right. So reason why is I'm a sneeze these cheeseburgers to take an L because childcare is expensive already. You start having more babies, childcare going to go up, and the American dollar is going to go down. We we need this money. Too many people is going to cause inflation, and it's going to fuck up the economy. <laughs> Okay, that's a good answer, Jimmy. Yeah, mine's it's, it's kind of related to the economy, but there's there's definitely strength in numbers, right? So I don't want to be annoyed with like throwing cheeseburgers out my nose and then doing all this extra shit with like my body and being pissed off and being hurt by cheeseburgers. Like, yeah, could I make some money and start a restaurant? Sure. Why not populate the world so much that we're more powerful than Roth than the Roths? Roth was it the Rothschilds? Rothschilds, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be more powerful than Rothschilds. So then, like, next thing you know, my children, their cousins, their brothers, their sisters, their whole family tree is the biggest family tree because I'll just go up and I could literally take a Justin Bieber song and then just say it to people that I think is, like, genetically engineered for, like, great, great, great things and then impregnate them. And now I have a great baby who's one day, 10 years out of line, 20 years out of line, going to become the next lawyer, banker, financer. Global world. <laughs> Global world dies. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, I got... The only person that's bigger than the Rothschilds is, Tess, is, is Elon Musk. Yeah. His child is named after like numbers. Really? Yeah. Elon Musk's kid. Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm going to tell you Elon Musk, kid, children. So Elon Musk's kid is X A E A X 2 2 Musk. Yeah. It's something crazy like that. This dude's an animal. How do you, how do you say that? In in in, how do you yell that kid's name out? You know what I mean. When you're mad, you're upset. You don't want to have to use all those syllables. You have to say uh, AX two. <laughs> That's a video game. game. That's a video game console. Yep. I say that a lot. <laughs> all right, that was our suspenseful music too. And uh, okay, would you rather? have to be best friends with your mortal enemy or every time you have sex coolio shows up and sings the entirety of gangster's paradise and you have to stare at him the entire time as he sings it the floor is opening to questioning wait 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 do i stare at him while we're banging yeah you have to stare at him yeah while that's happening yes well for my mortal enemy right is it my mortal enemy because i like truly hate this person or is this person more so my mortal enemy just because this person hates me and they're trying to ruin my life um both so i gotta be around somebody who i just truly cannot stand yeah or i gotta have coolio pop up and give me a live performance every time i have sex yeah and you have to stare at him in the eyes 
while he sings the entirety. Like you can keep going after that when he's done and look back at the person. But for the first four minutes, because I think that song's around four minutes long, you lock an eyes. Is my partner locking eyes with Coolio as well? No. In fact, uh, the partner doesn't see him. You're the only person who sees him. So it's it's all in my head. Yeah, but it's real too. It's like he has a magical spell that uh, allows other people to just not see him. Man, this one time, like, you know, I had a threesome with one of my best friends. I don't think I ever, I don't even think I've looked at it. <laughs> I don't think I could look at Coolio. I might have to go ahead and take this L. <laughs> yeah. I think it's, I think it's a, the only thing is like the mortal enemy thing. You can be friends with anybody. Yeah, but your mortal enemy, like, the, let's say you're like walking down an escalator. You're in the mall with you and your mortal enemy, right? It's, this is your mortal enemy. And you're like, all right, man, let's go check out the store. It's on the first floor. This motherfucker is going to trip you down an escalator. He's not your mortal enemy anymore because you're friends. Yeah, but you still hate each other. But we hate each other. Yeah. Like, sounds like married. But, but you're friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah, really. This cosmic entity is making you be friends. Hmm. So it's almost like going out with yeah. your mother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. All right. I, I think I, I think I have my answer. Chuck, you think you got your answer? You got any more questions? These are really uh, uh, rams. These are terrible. Yeah, no, they're supposed to be awful. All right, I got it. I got. It. All right, do the countdown. All right, three, two, one. Mortal enemy. Friends with the enemy. Friends with the enemy. Yeah. <laughs> None of you want to stare at Coolio for four minutes while he sings "Gangsta's Paradise." No. If it was The Rock. I'd be staring like a bug. I might even get a little harder. <laughs> yeah, if the rock was if Dwayne was in a room and he was like, do it, motivate yourself. 3 a.m. every day, gorilla weights. He, yeah. Dwayne Johnson could literally be in the room and then just like quote his worst movie lines of all time. And I'd be like, all right, that's cool. But Coolio, bro. Yeah. What is I don't think it, I don't think it's supposed to be a positive thing. A lot of these, you know, there's always something that sucks. That's hey, what was game. that? What was that one? Um, he was an actor slash artist. He had like an eraser head style haircut, light skin dude. House like party, kid and play. Kid and play. play? Yeah, kid, and, kid play. and play. Yeah, yeah. I met kid in real life downtown. Right, this dude looked so bad. <laughs> damn <laughs> this is like the coolio era you know what i'm saying but yeah. kid and play bro like kids the light skin one right right yeah 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 so i met this guy in a bar right i'm hanging out we're having a good time i'm with my friends and i'm like holy shit yo that's fucking kid right we're downtown san diego and i go over and i get a picture of like my, my home girl and she's like yeah take a picture of me with kid and then we take a picture right but I notice, right? And I'm a little intoxicated, but I notice I look into kids' face. I'm like, bro, you are fucking old and you are busted down. But this Damn. dude dressed up like he was 18 years old. It was like a 50. No, was he 50? It was like a 40. It was he, he was way too the image, he was dressed, man. But he was like, Yeah, man, I'm just downtown. And he was definitely on some drugs. So anybody I, I, from- he ain't on drugs. Huh? He was one of the positive ones, man. Nah, man, he's he's done for, bro. He was done, done. Could have been something I met else. Kid in real life, and this dude was fucked up. But well, when you're an actor or whatever, you gotta maintain the image that people know you by. So that's why he tries to dress like that. Yeah, he's pretty old. Well, guys, both I, old, you know I, I mean? gotta, I gotta, I gotta end this. I'm sorry. We gotta, we gotta end this. I'm sorry. And with it's cancer, over. it's been over an hour. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta cut this, man. All right, here, let me show you this. People picture. are, people are coming, coming into my, my house right now. We gotta fucking, we gotta fucking close this shit out, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right hold on. Let me do something. I'm sorry that it's that sad, 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 sad time in the podcast. But we're gonna go around the computer screen and give our last minute plugs for you listeners out there, you beautiful listeners. Thank you for playing along with this episode. Um, play them with your own friends, of course. Go up, go ahead and look up uh, on Comedy Bang Bang the other questions they have. They're a lot of fun. Play them with your own friends. But anyway. Let's go around the computer screen, give our last minute plugs. Jimmy, my friend, you got any last minute plugs for listeners? Follow me on Slightly Special, two hours in the end on Instagram. Okay. <laughs> That's it. All right, cool. Um, well, thank you for that, Jimmy. Um, thank you for stopping by, as do, always. We got to do more podcasts like this. I feel like this was an educational but entertaining podcast. 
yes, we can do, of course, more like this, and uh, but let's do them at earlier times, <laughs> and we can go longer. Um, Late in the day. Yeah. Um, tell, us, tell us you're old without saying you're old. I know. That's 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 exactly what I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> grandpa's got to go to sleepies. Um, <laughs> but uh, thank you for your last minute plugs, Jimmy. And of course, uh, Chuck, my friend, you got any last minute plugs for listeners? Also on Instagram, tough as can, you know, uh, to look at the, the funnies. And uh, <clears throat> you can also find me on TikTok, Chubb's Way, Two Wise. And uh, you can find me, Chubb's Way, everywhere else. Really. Hey, shout out to Topaz Kim. When was the last time you watched the Topaz Kim YouTube video? Yesterday. Yeah, I watch the videos all the time. We actually have some really good topics on there. You know, you guys should, for the listeners, you guys should actually like kind of tune in because we used to do this thing called a Q&A where people would snap us questions and we would answer them. And it was always a hilarious video. Check you guys should out. do a reunion yeah. video. We had some funny ass fucking skits too. You guys should do that. You know, you know what the one, so what I watched yesterday was this was this snapchat that we did but we ended up posting it it was of the of the movie audition and i was like Ugh. doing the wrong thing and you were like you were the director you were cussing me out and i was like oh my god and then i saw the same damn skit by the lord of squad and i was like they stole our idea those motherfuckers <laughs> Dude, we were getting like two three thousand snapchat views today but you said we never posted it i no, I don't think we did. And I was me. like, "You gotta send it to me." Good plug. Gotta send it to him. But let's let's be on the lookout for that reunion video too at some point, guys. Um, but my last minute plugs are, of course, you can follow my personal Christian Merms. It's open to the public right now. I will close it probably when we're done doing uh, season four of Great Morning. So follow me when you can, because a lot of you are creepy, and I don't I don't like it that you're all following me. Um, you can follow uh, Slightly Special with two L's. You can follow Topaz Ken, as they already said. You can follow You Love Steph. Shout out to her. Uh, shout out to all the mamas out there. Happy Mother's Day. Um, you can follow Trip God Jimmy. That's T-R-Y-P-G-O-D-J-I-M-I. You can follow Steffi underscore underscore zero on TikTok. You can follow Great Morning underscore the podcast on TikTok. You can follow Great Morning underscore the podcast on Instagram. Um, and, of course, stay on the lookout for our next special dropping May 22nd. That is our three-year anniversary spectacular. Be on the lookout for that. Chuck, I hear you're going to be there. Is, is that true? Can we tell the listeners? Yeah, that? yeah. Hell yeah, man. Holy shit. Hell yeah. So, you know, be on the lookout. If you like Chuck, go go, go get you some Chuck on that episode. Um, I'm going to be on vacation. vacation. I'm yeah. being drunk. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're, gonna, we're doing something. You got to come back to Gammy. We're doing um something really special with that episode. We're not going to spoil it here. Um, We're going to let you know, obviously, when it drops. Um, But it's going to be something different this time and i think you guys are going to be able to play along so stay on the lookout for that it's gonna be a lot of fun um but of course guys thank you for coming chuck thank you for stopping by jimmy thank you for uh you know stopping by early so we can play around with some stuff um but that was our episode great morning great morning great morning great morning great morning great morning